In this lesson, we will take a look at how we can mirror drawing objects. The mirror command is located on the Home tab in the Modify panel. You can also type MI, then press Enter at your keyboard. After selecting the mirror command, you will be prompted to select the objects to be mirrored. In this case, I wish to mirror these two exterior doors to the right side of this building. So I will select them both, then press Enter. Next, the command line asks for two points of a mirror line. So I want to create a mirror line right in the middle of this building. I'll snap to the midpoint of the top line, and then I can either snap to the midpoint of the bottom, or I can use polar tracking and track straight up or straight down. After clicking my second point, the command line asks if I want to erase the source objects. I can click yes or no, but the default is no, so I can just press enter to say no. In this case, I want to keep the originals, so I'll press enter to keep them both. In some cases though, you may want to erase the original. For example, on these interior doors, this door is swinging in the wrong direction, so I wish to mirror it horizontally. As you can see, I've got a little construction line in here that I can use to help me find the middle of this door. So I begin with my mirror command. I'll select the door, then press enter. Then for the first point of my mirror line, I'll choose the midpoint of this construction line. For my second point, using polar tracking, I will click either above or below the original point. Now in this case, I don't want both versions of the door, only the new version. So in the command line, I'm going to click yes to erase the source object. And as you can see, I'm only left with my mirrored copy. I can now erase this construction line. Similarly, I would like to mirror this door so that it's opening up into the room up above. So I begin my mirror command, select the object, then press enter. And then for my mirror line, I'm going to choose the midpoint of the door jam here. And again, I can snap to the other side or I can just use polar tracking and click at the zero or 180 degree angle. Then once more, I'm going to click yes to erase the source object. We often think of the mirror command when we're actually creating mirrored versions of the objects, but in some cases, the mirror command can help us lay out shapes that actually don't end up mirroring. In this case, I've laid out a circle, and I wish to have the same circle at each corner. Rather than laying it out at each corner, I'm going to mirror this one. Obviously, the mirrored version of the circle is going to look just like the original circle, and that's okay. I begin with a mirror command, and I will select this circle, then press enter, and I will mirror it about the midpoints vertically on this shape. Then I'll press enter to keep both. Then once more, I will mirror both of these, press enter. Then I will choose the horizontal midpoints to mirror it down, then press enter. So as you can see, the mirror command can also be used as a tool for laying out shapes, even though the resulting versions might not necessarily be a mirrored version of them. That concludes this look at the mirror command in AutoCAD.